put it on what color? I didn't have time. Hmm? I meant to put it on which color, but I didn't have time, so. Hello, everyone. Here we go again. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Thanks for stopping by. We hope everyone is doing great and feeling good. Good What's afternoon, Jennifer. What's up on this rainy Thursday? Yes. All week. How's the weather in your area? We're in Florida. We have been having so much rain. So much rain. How is that? Good afternoon. No. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning. <laughs> from wherever you from wherever you're watching us from. So, how is it in your area, Jennifer? And how are things going with you? Sunshine and freezing, 50 degrees, wow. Oh, I love that. We froze last night, oh my gosh. Hi, Mike Ferguson How from doing? Georgia. We're just asking, how's your weather? Before we start up our chat and talking and everything. Sure. Our weather, weather has been rainy. What is going on with this hair? All over the place. Electricity in, trailer is home, and husband is working on Trump. Beautiful. That is great. <laughs> nice. Congrats. I know the excitement is is building and it is so good. I know that feeling. Definitely. Um, Jennifer, do y'all have a set date to start up? Or are you just taking it as they come? And that's how I say, don't rush it. Definitely. Yep, take your time. Mike, tell your wife we say hello. It's in the low 80s in Georgia, okay. Not too bad about the same thing here. Eight, mm -hmm. eight and nine. Jennifer says, we still aren't working. Stinks on the end. Water is next and we have our sinks. Great. They're coming to give. No tanks yet. Okay, it, that's right. It's coming together. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> he says, why say hello? Hello. So I can come in. Yeah. I said it's nine. We um <clears throat> excuse me. It's it's been a few months since we did a live. Um we uh, starting out, we thank everybody for stopping by. Those of you who are silent in the background is no problem. We appreciate you for coming through. Um, we hope everybody is doing well, feeling well, um, healthy. If not, we pray that God grants you the ability to get better and feel better and, and you know, everything works for your good. We, we really hope so. Yeah. Um, what, what we wanted to talk about is we wanted to ask how you all were doing and what, you know, your, um, things are going on with your businesses if you're working. And if you're not working like us, we haven't, you know, gone back out yet, which we will be soon. We don't have a definite date. You know, we're just taking things, you know, slow day by day. 
you know, so we can make the best decision for us. And we would expect that, you know, the same for y'all too. Lulu, hi from UK. What is the best wood to use on a smoker that will work for all meats? Keep safe. Oak wood, cherry wood, pecan wood, any of that wood like that. Good smoke flavor. For all meats? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with none of that. Cherry wood. Mm -hmm. But I refer to me, just oak. I just use oak. Okay, she said thanks. You're welcome. Hi, Jesse Griffin. Hello from Pelham. Is that Alabama by the way of Jacksonville, Florida? Okay. Hello. How you doing? Jesse, how's the weather in your area? Probably about like this. Hmm. No, no. Yeah. It's Alabama, right? If I'm if I'm correct, I hope. True. Um, what, what we have been getting a lot of questions about, um, the pricing on trailers and food trucks. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Jesse said it's good, almost like Florida, but not rain. 78 sunny. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy that sunshine. <laughs> We're not complaining about the rain because, you know, it's God's weather and we not complaining with him. And a whole lot more rain going to be coming. <laughs> yeah, we just have a lot of rain. <laughs> True. Yeah. So, um, we want to chat about the pricing of your trailers and your food trucks and pros and cons. As far as your, what you're going to get, you we know we got what our money could do. Buying new is best way it is the best way because you are not going behind someone else if you have to buy used that's a great way too because you're saving money but you just have to make sure that you check yeah check it and check it out and stuff because you all the way through you can run into some good stuff mm -hmm. you um don't want to Get something that's gonna cause you a lot of headache in the end. Cause that's I know how it is. That's why I bought, went the way I went. You know, I don't have to be you know working hard on nobody. You know, mm -hmm. have to fix this, have to fix that, fix this, and all that. So if you can, you know, get where you can. I have to say it like that. You know. Yes. So Jesse said, finally got my trailer wrapped and custom grill on the back. Next step is getting it inspected and ready to hit the road. Well, that's, that's great. I know you have. Congrats. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, email us a picture. Yep, I'd like to see. We, we enjoy seeing it. And um, let us know when you start up. That is so beautiful. Congratulations. Inspection should be a breeze. Yep. Because anyone who takes their time and do every all the steps and everything, when they get that inspection, they're going to make sure everything is straight. You don't want to have to, you know, go back and have them come back out and all that. So if you take care of the trailer, you pass mm -hmm. inspection all the time. Mm-hmm. So congrats, Jesse. Um, we um. 
we feel like um, but what was best for us was a trailer. We talked about this before. We feel like the trailer was best for us because we had a truck. We started off with a trailer that wasn't fully equipped and an F-150. And another thing too about a trailer, why well, I got that trailer because later on I want to be doing small, you know, pigs. Mm -hmm. If I had to get a truck, I can't flip the hole like that inside of the truck. So that's why I got the grill like that on the back. Mm -hmm. So I can flip it and do what I got to do. Have more space yeah. and everything. Okay. And you got to have space to work. Okay. That's something that's a a plus. Excuse me. Um, we come across a few places and a few people who look at their trailer and they think why they look at why I did this, why I didn't do this. And it's just like you thinking I should have done this. I should have done that. Of course, you're going to have those thoughts because when you start working and you see other trailers and other things, you're going to think, you know, you're going to see something that could work for you. That's just like in a house. If you see something that works in somebody else's house, you know that might work for mine. Well, then it still won't be too late. You can go mm -hmm. back out and do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But just make sure your layout is your layout. And if you're buying something used, make sure it's usable for you. You get in and you be able to, you know, do the things you're doing. Yeah, check the flows and everything. Because see, you buy a trailer, the floor, something can be weak or something like that, you know. So it have air conditioning, you know, check that. Something. The hood and stuff like that. Have all that checked. And you know, if you're buying a truck, you need to check out the motor transmission and all that. Definitely. Oh gosh, you know. So that's that's something all in itself that could be you know a con as far as getting a trailer. I mean, getting a truck and the person neglected to fix something and trying to sell it because they were trying to save money and everything and you end up getting that burden so you definitely want to check and yeah, i'm quite sure these are things that a lot of people are doing but some things you know pass cross your mind because you're so excited about getting your trailer or a truck yeah because i was very excited <laughs> yeah you just want to you know have you want to have good sound reason and you want to make the best best decision and best choice yeah the um because those problems those problems with your trailer can add up they can add up yeah things can be costly yeah things can happen to the trailer too the axle can go out you know mm -hmm. different things tires you know things can happen to the trailer just like the truck but you know what we've had to fix on our trailer since we've gotten our trailer. We have our, our trailer now probably close. close to three years. And the only thing we had to, except for doing our upgrades, we changed the floors. The floors from, because we had checkerboard floors, and we got the diamond plate floors. We changed the floor thing. I changed the design the back over. Mm -hmm. Fix it kind of like a cage. Mm-hmm. Because the first time it was screen. Yeah, we had a screen back area. And we got the... Um... See, they're screaming the last but so long. Let's be doing Diamond it plate on the bottom and then yeah. like a cage at the top. Because the wear of the screen wasn't, you know, wasn't going to be good for us. And especially with the smoke. The smoke was making the, the screen warp. Well, and it wasn't, it, was it wasn't strong enough. Smoke it up. But that would call CB smoke out, so we're smoking it up. But. Yeah, so we just wanted we wanted to do some um, things to help us in the long run, and we we had to get new tires. Yeah. Mhm. Mm we had to get new tires. I guess when you get in tires, you just got we got the tires that they gave us when we. You know, purchased and I guess we wore them out. 
<laughs> yeah, you know, it was time for some, so. He just. What did he even get? Mm hmm. Getting um, a new tr trailer, new food truck, you have warranties on your um, appliances. And that's a good, that's a plus that you don't have to. And, and then you think, you feel like, okay, it's a good thing because you don't have to worry about fixing anything. But when you have something brand new, you don't really, you don't usually have any issues. It's usually how, how it is. It's usually after the warranty fades yeah, away. Lead, lead on down. <laughs> no. That's when it happens. Um... Mike says the contractor building your trailer usually goes by your menu. True. Yeah. Yes. They gave us great ideas of how to do our layout and for us to be able to run it smoothly, you know, as far as, you know, fixing our food and putting the um work table at the right place, getting the right refrigerator. It was, you know, instead of getting a big stand up, we got the one where we can, you know, prep on. So it was, and the, the layout is very important yes. because you'll find yourself over here, over here, over here, and you don't want that. Mac Ware says, greetings from Memphis family. Hey Mac, how are you doing? How you doing? Um, yeah, your layout is so important. And when you're dealing with um, the contractor, of course, they are definitely going to give you some ideas, especially if you're not, you know, familiar or don't know how you want your trailer to be because you want it to look good. I mean, you want it to work good. You want it to look good, of course, but you also want it to work good. If you decide to get a used trailer, you got to make sure that you get it clean. I'm, I know um, one guy was telling us that you have to get your trailer professionally clean and getting it professionally clean because you don't know what kind of, you know, build up and, you know, all that stuff with the hood and the floors. You want to make sure everything is clean because when they inspect, they look at all that. Yep, they check it all. Mm -hmm. They definitely check those floors. They want to make sure that they're easy to be clean because you know that you know if you're dealing with frying and the grease, you know grease pops on the floor. You want to make sure you don't fall and it's hazardous and all that. So definitely want to make sure that you get your trailer or truck clean. I mean, you could do it. I don't know. I guess if it's certain places where they say you have to get it professionally clean. Somebody told us here in Florida that you have to. I haven't heard that yet. I didn't hear that from our inspector or anybody in um, Jacksonville it, or anything. So keeping your grill real clean. Mm hmm If they have a grill or if a fryer. I mean, yeah. the what? the Just whatever, you know, they're cooking on. What is that, the flat? Flat, flat stove. So, mm -hmm. keep, that, keep it clean. Mm hmm so The cleaner you keep your grill and stuff. The better the food come out. Good, nice blue smoke. <laughs> yes. One um, guy was telling us that it's, it was hard for him because he got a truck and he wished he got a trailer because he's been doing a lot of work on his truck and it's cutting into his business. You know, but another way you can do it is you already gone already start up just do it along and along you know mm -hmm. but those things uh, he had to fix was like major so it kind of took away from his the time time and income and everything you mm -hmm. know and it's hard those are you pros and cons you just got to weigh them in and see you know what's going to be the best best thing for you well get what you really need to start up they ain't the most things you can add mm -hmm. you know because you know we start up when you had everything mm -hmm. in the trailer but we got it now yeah but his stuff was breaking down oh. yeah <laughs> so yeah 
And taking your time is, don't be in a rush. Don't be in a rush. Don't think that, oh my gosh, I got to have this out a certain time. Everybody looking for me to start. Everybody looking for me to do this. It's your time. Because once you start, you don't want to have to stop and yeah. start up again. Okay. Once you start with your business. Whatever, whenever you stop, it'll be good. Mm-hmm. Remember, it's your business. And you just go from there. <laughs> and you have to start. You want your customers to have the best. Yeah. You want your customers to have the best. So you're going to take your time and, you know, put the best out there. You don't want to, you definitely, and I say it again, you don't want to start your business and then have to stop because then that ain't going to look too good. You know, how you start a business and then it, they, they left, they're not coming back or what's going on. You know, you want to have all your stuff together. I mean, your menu can change. You could go up and down on your menu and everything. But as far as your things that need to be fixed. You know, your generator and all that, you know, other yeah, stuff that you need. That's, that's one thing going to change the menu because, you know, you have to first put stuff out there to see what people like. Mm -hmm. And after you see what they're reaching that most, that will you keep out there. Mm -hmm. The stuff where ain't moving, you take that off the menu. That's true. Let it go. Don't waste your time with it. Don't keep no, saying I'm going to lose money on. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see you if know. this, I'm going to see if it's going to work. I'm going to see if it's going to sell or whatever, you know. You like run it about four or five times. You see it ain't moving. Pull it off. Mm-hmm. And stick with the stuff we're moving. Yes. So. Okay. Subway Joe, P.O.G. Hello, my wife and I would like to know if there is a way to add ventilation to a custom food trailer that doesn't, that didn't previously have one. Thank you. A custom food trailer to add ventilation. Are, are, is he talking, are you talking about the hood? Are you talking about adding a hood to it? Thank you, Tim. What? Ventilation to catch air oh. or something? Huh? Ventilation to catch air? Oh. I don't think you're talking about the hood. You said yes. Ventilation to catch air? No, yeah. I think he, he said yes. Yeah. I don't know. Are you saying yes to the hood or ventilation to catch air? He said hood. Oh yeah, you can you can add it. Mm-hmm. Yes, cause it's a lot that don't a lot. It's custom trailers that don't have um, the hood in, and you want to put your. I guess you have your stove, and you want to put a fryer, your flat stove or your fryer, and you want to get a hood. Definitely, they mm -hmm. can put one in. Mm -hmm. That is not hard. Mm-hmm. That is not, um, that shouldn't be an issue. We got our hood first and then we got our, um, stove and, fryers stove and, and stuff. everything, but you can definitely get, um, they could definitely put a hood in over your, I found out your, <laughs> anything you want, they can do it. Mm -hmm. no if you're dealing with the right Thanks. Company. You're welcome. Yes, and search around. Search around. Yeah. You know, just don't go with the first person. Search around because you want to make sure that you find that right person and the right price. Yeah, and they put in the right because they come and check it. Mike said, what new things have you added to your menu? Well, we haven't started back up, but we definitely adding um um my husband's lemonade well, his I, homemade lemonade well, to I the menu a couple of things i want to add you know, mm -hmm. <clears throat> i'm probably going to go with some ball peanuts <laughs> and the way i cook my ball peanut i cook them in turkey wings i try to get 
try some and that very good. Yeah, because you took some to some guys. Yeah, like I took them to work and let some of the guys taste them. So them the best peanuts they ever taste. I mean, they smell good. I didn't try them. I ain't talking about like a whole pot of turkey wings. You just get probably about five pieces cut up short. Mm -hmm. They put any turkey wings and let them boil with the peanuts. Okay. They give it a good flavor. Is that it? Just peanuts? Yeah, peanuts, put little... I said, what else you, uh, on the menu? What oh, else no. you said? Chicken salad. Mm. And probably some pulled pork. Pull, I mean, no. <laughs> pulled right. chicken. Mm-hmm. What's, I mean, what's pulled chicken if they don't know? Pulled chicken, just, it'll be, just, it'll look just like pulled pork, the way I do it. Cause I, you know, pull it apart, like have it be scrangling, like the pull pork. Mm -hmm. If you don't really know your meat, you think you eating pull pork. It is. It does have a good taste. So I guess we'll that'll be pull chicken and pull pull pork and pull chicken. And you make the pull chicken out of what? Chicken breasts. Hmm? The chicken breasts. Mm -hmm. That's the best. Part of the chicken to do it with. Okay. Um, ventilation direct made our hood. There are a few visible welding marks. Okay. Do you um? All in all, you like what they did, Jennifer? Do you all you all like it? Thugway Joe, POG said, what is the toughest part of inspection process? Of the inspection process, what's the toughest part? Hot oh, have you hot water. Good to have your hot water. Flows clean. When they come through. All your paperwork. You got to talk to him, not me. Having all your paperwork. I'm trying to think what was a part that was. And you stick on the outside of the trailer. Mm -hmm. Six numbers. They want to make sure everything works properly when they come out for the inspection. They want you to have everything on and running. They don't want you to start when they come. Everything need the water need to be hot. They want to they want to see your water your scripts. The mm -hmm. your scripts, your three sinks. Definitely. You gotta have your, the tablets. It's those small things people think that you don't have to, and they'll mark you for it. Yeah. Those rinse and tablets, the strips, and uh, bleach your Clorox, definitely gotta have one of those. You know. <clears throat> um, just knowing all those little, technical things that you have to have done that was ours those those were ours i'm trying to think you know Them you want things, the water at a certain temperature they'll mark get on you but that's the quicker than they mm -hmm. will with your license because they'll give you time to get them yes if you don't have your manager's license here in florida i think they say it's 30 days and they'll come back out to make sure you have them I think that's what it was. But they want to... Management. Yes, if the management license and, and if someone is working with you, they you, they have to have um, a, 
a certificate. Yeah. Let me see. Let me tell y'all what it is. I don't want to be saying in my brain. You got these Can't remember. Certificate. A safe staff certificate. That's what it was. Yeah. So you have to have your... Um, and they'll let you know after it's over. We didn't have to have, um, when we first got inspected, we didn't have to have any, we didn't have any food or anything prepared whenever they first came out just to inspect it because that's when they're giving you the okay to go out. Then they'll come back out. Next time they come, they want to come and see you in action. Yeah, they want to see you running so they can and everything. do their thing and see how you perform Okay, um, wait a minute, I'm sorry. Jennifer said, pull chicken. She said she used that in her, or turkey in her enchiladas. Okay. Rayshonda Smith-Moore, how you doing? Welcome. She said, you... Two are such an inspiration to my husband and I. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Just wanted to say, wait a minute. Just wanted to say to keep doing what you're doing. You're pro providing motivation for us to keep pressing. Thank you. You all give us motivation whenever you comment and say things. We appreciate y'all yeah. so much. Thank you so much. And whatever you guys are getting ready to do, we pray you have much success. Yeah. Rishonda. Um, Jennifer said, I am not happy with the vent inserts. Oh, sorry to hear that. Rishonda said, thank you. Hmm. Will it stop you from being able to use it? I mean, will it, is it going to mess up with... Or is it the look that the, the way they did? It? Is that what it is, Jennifer? I requested smaller size and they sent the 16 inch ones. Hmm. Amen, Jennifer. Jennifer said, in Oregon, they allow bleach and said that twice a year, a scheduled tank bleaching. I want to schedule that on a monthly schedule when working. Okay. Twice a year. Okay. Great, great information. Thank you both. Thanks for sharing your valuable experience. My wife and wife has management and I only have the serve safe food handler certificate. Much success and blessing to y'all. Okay, so well, that is great. Yeah. That is good. I'm glad we were able to give you give you something or somebody in the comments was able to give you something that helps. You're going to do great. You're yeah. definitely going to do great. Rashonda said, amen, I receive it. Oh, blessings to y'all, Rashonda. Yeah, keep doing what you're doing. Robert Vega, hello, guys. Thanks for all you do. Post Oak Smokehouse Barbecue in San Antonio, Texas. Hi, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Yes, um, another smokehouse in here. <laughs> Smoke it up. Yes, um, wait a minute. Jennifer said, next year we may set up in town for a convenience, not a pot spot, but in front of it, the original market. Down the street from the school, we appreciate you. We appreciate you too. Cleaning is impossible in my sinks. Cleaning is impossible in your sinks. What do you mean, cleaning? I I didn't understand that one. Like cleaning up, cleaning up your trailer your area or what do you mean it's impossible for clean up in your sinks and i when when it's time for us to do we do a monthly cleaning um 
when we finish during the week, we, you know, when we finish each day, we clean, of course, clean, wipe down, put everything away and everything. When the end of the week come, we do a good, great cleaning. So when our monthly cleaning come, it is not hard on us. Really? I always clean out the grill every time I cook. Yeah. The next morning. The, yep. the next day after. You can't clean it out when it's... No, not the same day because it's hot. Mm-hmm. But the next day. Yes. Because what you said, what could happen to a grill? You can set it. If you leave that ash and stuff in there. If you leave ashes and stuff in there sometime, it'll catch back up. Mm-hmm. Or you set it to rot the thing. Yeah. yeah. The coals, did you keep coals? Because coals got a lot of dirt in it. Same. Mm-hmm. And you know... Anything dirt be on a, a whole lot, mm -hmm. it turns back into dirt as you let the coals and stuff stay piled up in your uh, grill. It's gonna eat the bottom of your grill out. Yeah, it take a while to do it, but it will. With the thinner grills, I remember that growing up. I used to see people with the grills and yeah, some the of dirt. the bottom gone. Yeah, the they would have to put the charcoals yeah. on the side because the middle of it was gone. I and do it, remember it, it that. Get a good one too. In the long run. Split it half. Cleaning <clears> the <throat> vents in the sink won't work. Clean the vents in the sink won't work. Oh, okay. Hmm. Because how they put it in. They won't refix it. They won't fix their mistake since they did the wrong thing. Jennifer? They should. Mm-hmm. We so wanted to have... Thank you all for the likes. Greatly appreciate it. We so wanted to have somebody... I mean, we searched and Googled for someone to talk to or a community of people to talk to before we started our food trailer. My husband came in contact with a couple of um, guys that he talked to, but they weren't too forthcoming with the information. And it was just like, you know what? We just have to go out on our own and try to figure this thing out. Too large to immerse in the water. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that. That's that's aggravating. So you have to take them outside the trailer to clean them. Yes. You know, trying to find the um right ouch, hurt my arm. Trying to find the right place in, you know, different places like we had Someone asking us, how did we get our location? Well, we went to um, here in, in Florida, in Palm, in Palm Beach County, we went to the Department of Engineering and Public Works. And that's the, that's the department, that is the, the department where Palm Beach County roadside vendor program, you know, and they have like different lots where you could choose from. Or if you want a certain one, you can get on a waiting list and find out. So in your community, go to the Department of Engineering and Public Works if you have one and see if they have that where you can go to find an, a location. Yeah. Yes, you're gonna have to pay for it. It's a, it's a yearly fee. And you have to have certain it's certain requirements that you have to have in order to be able to do it. Jennifer said, what do you say? I'm sorry. You know, talking with different vendors and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They let you park there on mm -hmm. this spot, you know. Yes, you could definitely talk to a business and the business can um, help you. Yeah, long as you allow you to be there just as long as you didn't buy a sidewalk because they don't let yeah. the trailers and stuff be by here in sidewalk. Florida every state could be different you know 
they just that's why they call it roadside because when someone is coming to your business they could just come off the road and come into your business if you have a sidewalk in front of you they're they're not going to approve that unless you're doing something with a specific business yeah. and they give you permission and you have all your paperwork with them you stating that you have to be there have it you know give to the state all you have to go through all that and we felt like it was kind of hard and you know it's just like you have to go through all this but it's a good thing because then you would have food trails park all over the place and everything you know looking crowded unless it's uh an event that's going on so i guess you know every you know it's for a reason yeah. so you know we did the work we did what we had to do and we went from there it's a nice, you know? nice place you know mm-hmm Jennifer said, I had my welder try to cut one in half and it may work, but we'll have to cross the bridge when we test it out. Okay, so we hope it works out. Yeah. You know, we, we hope it works out. It's um, it's tough when you get, you, you're working with somebody and they don't do what you ask them to do. And you don't find out until after it's done or they already did this you know, situation and everything. So we, we pray it all works out. And if not, we pray that, you know, the, your welder can fix that issue. A welder apprenticeship, mm -hmm. they'll make it work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if he's your welder, I'm quite sure he, he's doing a good, he can do a good job. Yeah. Or he wouldn't be a welder. So I totally understand that. So, um, well, we just wanted to come on and chat a little bit and, you know, talk about the different pros and cons as far as, you know, a trailer and the prices, the prices with a, a food truck, I've seen up to a hundred thousand dollars new. Yes. That Use is, that fully loaded. That's everything in used we've seen up to fifty thousand dollars this is for a food truck a food trailer with you know just a trailer um the size that we have we have an eight by five by 20 with our um smokehouse on the back um in today's market we've seen just a trailer Fourteen five fully with everything you know I can't and then I can't say everything because those things that's in the trailer might not be good for you it might not be some things that you use you might not need a flat top grill in inside there or the you know a fryer or whatever this is new mm hmm that it was um with nothing in it. Oh, nothing mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. Nothing in it. No grill on the back. Just um, the space on the back and the trailer. Nothing inside or anything. It was like fourteen five. Then when you start adding the trailer and all your other stuff in it, I've seen it go as high as um fifty thousand. So it's it. You gotta check this market out. Excuse me. And then you want to get a place that's close to you, especially if you're that type of person who want to see. Everything is getting done. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean by that because, you know, mm -hmm. it's something getting done right and you ain't at the spot. Mm -hmm. When you get it, you say, oh, this ain't right. And you got to carry it back and get it done. So as you check in on it. Yeah, but you want to check it before you bring it home. Yeah, you want to make sure all your stuff is, walk you know. It, get the plans and walk around it and check it mm -hmm. out. Go over your plans. Go over your plans so many times and make sure this is what you want. Remember, they are working for you. Yeah. You're paying them. So, you know, some people get inferior whenever they're dealing with, you know, contractors and business people who are handling things for, who are doing a work for you. But we have to remember that they're working for us and I'm paying them um, a fee to do something that I want. You always ask 
can you do this? Oh yeah, yeah, I can do mm -hmm. it. So that, let me see some of your work. That we're looking for. That's what I'm. Let me see some of your work. I'm gonna see some of your work that you do. You know, with the the business that we work with in Miami, um, Miami Trailer, we saw their work. We saw what they did, and we, you know, they're they, thorough. They're real good. They are thorough, yes, and they were very good. Any way you want it built. Mm -hmm. You got the money, they can build it. <laughs> they were telling us, say. If you know, if you sell your trailer, we could build you one just like you have right now. We could get you the same thing. We could do it all over again. You know, if somebody wanted one like you all, just let us know. Um, they could do it. So, and, and they can. They, they do, definitely they can. Good work. Good work. They're great. So, um, you just want to make sure your stuff is good. If you need any design, rap or anything, Ace. You know Ace with the trail? Mm-hmm. He can fix it, paint it any way you want, wrap it any way you want. Mm-hmm. He can't, he's in um, Riviera. Riviera Beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's the one who did our writing and stuff. We didn't have it wrapped because it was already red. And we just, we put the uh, other stuff. That's just, you know. I just tell him what I want on it then. Mm-hmm. Jennifer said the drain holes, um, with, I guess, were on the side. It's just weird and probably a non-issue. I pray you get back out there and stay healthy. Thank you. We'll be out there soon. We definitely yeah. will. And when we go back out, we already said it, we're definitely going to put up a post. And um, our first order of business is going to be, because we haven't been using the trail, so our first order of business is to get in there and clean it. You know, our thorough cleaning. You know, yeah. Charles, check on it and, you know, make sure everything is going good. But um, going inside, clean it from top to bottom, front to back, you know, getting, you know, the guy that cleans the outside, you know, getting all that done. So yeah, we're definitely going to have a good job. Yes, we're definitely going to, you know, have that done. And when we get back out there, oh, my goodness, you know, we miss it. We miss we miss the, the feel of it and out there just doing it and our customers and everything. You know, it's, it's a joy. Anyone who works, you know, who have a business and you're dealing with the customers face to face, you form that relationship. So we do definitely miss that. You know, mm -hmm. we do miss that. From time to time, we'll get them, you know, they'll send us um, through Instagram or through, um, email and let us know when are you coming back out we miss you guys and we're like we miss you guys too we're definitely coming back you know we're not closed down we're just not there right now but we'll definitely be back yeah no i ain't ready to throw the towel in yet no it's not time to um retire nope. mm-hmm where do you dump your wastewater, Mike says. You know, the commissary, you know, you get to do all of that stuff there. Okay. Yes. Get your water, empty your water, you can clean, you can do all that stuff there. Mm-hmm. Government soul food. And just nacho. I miss your lives. So glad that I finally... Caught you too. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yes, we've been on for a little bit. What time is it? I don't even have my watch on. Are we started? Oh, we're about 50 minutes we've been on. Yes, I'm glad. How you been doing? How's things going? We um <clears throat> see so many of, you know, the people we um, follow on Instagram, some that we follow here on, um, 
YouTube, they are out there working and doing it. And it looks so good. It does. It does. It's getting us so, you know, so antsy, so ready to get back out there. And they're doing good, and we're so happy for you all. Yeah. You know. A good workup. Mm-hmm. Everything is looking so good. The, you know, they're so excited to be back out. Don't stop selling. Sell all you can. <laughs> Sell out to every time you crank up. You know, the food looks good. Everything, you know, it, it's so beautiful for, you know, to, to have your job and to have things, you know, going good. You know, every day ain't going to be golden. Of course, we know that anyone who's, you know, unless you have a, um, what is it, Charles? What is it? Unless you're doing an event, guaranteed. Event. You know, guaranteed. You know, the, the funds are going to be there. But whenever you're going out and you're waiting for your customers to come in, we all know how that is. That's at a rest. That's either you're a restaurant. And it raining. Mm -hmm. That's a tough day. <laughs> we pull out on and out. And we are right there waiting for our customers. You come up under here, you get dry and everything. So we're definitely excited about getting back out there. It's, it's, we said it before, it's almost like a Christmas that's coming up. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'm good. Back in Ohio, exhausted. You two look well. I wanted to say I love to see your older pictures you posted for your anniversary so sweet oh thank you thank you thank you we um that is the only picture that we have when we were dating that's the only one because somebody didn't like taking pictures and we were dating and i didn't want to be too pushy with the camera because i'm always taking pictures i'm a picture person i'm she always <laughs> No, I did not want to run you away. I sure did. And I was like, okay, you don't want to take the pictures. We, okay, we all right. But when we got married, click, picture, 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 picture. You had the picture. <laughs> yeah, so we, um, that is the only picture we had when we were um, dating. And I, you know, thought it was, um, would be a, a, something to do you know, with our um, anniversary. Chef, not to change this topic. No, you're fine. This is Robert, Robert Vega. I hope I'm saying that correct. Robert, Chef, not to change the topic. What brand of warmer do you use? What is the brand of our warmer? Mm. Let me see. If I if I wrote it down, let me see if I have it. It's on my phone. Our warmer. If I don't find it, ask, ask us in the comments and I'll definitely put it. Someone, a few, a person, a few people have asked us that a few times about, you know, the warmer and it's, well, I know it's a good, it's a good one. <laughs> and I definitely write and every time I, we write it down, I forget about it. I forget the name of it. I already did that. So, um, it'll keep the food good and hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so type it in the comments and I'll respond to you. And I'll write it, we'll write it down for you. The name of our warmer. No problem. Forget the name of it. Yeah. So yeah. these gotta go in my own thing. I think it holds up. Oh, about 10 racks. I, don't I mean, even about know. 20 racks. I don't even know. Because we don't use them all. We use every other rack. Yeah, but we use probably about eight of them. 
It's just that mine loses heat with every open and close. Just looking. Okay. Well, oh, yeah. this this brand is good, yeah. and because we open and close a lot when we're um, out there working, and it holds the heat very well. Yeah. It is definitely. So don't forget, ask us in the comments, and I'll um, I'll I'll um, answer it for you. We'll get it to you. Because right off the top of my head, I just, I don't know. I'm yeah, going to give you the exact number. I'll give you the exact name and everything so you'll know. So, um, that is, um, huh? Okay. That is our, um, those are our thoughts on a trailer and a thanks blessings blessings to you too yeah. yes and um if you get this one it i just it is it is a good one yeah, ever it's... since we had it we've had it for about two years yeah, two years about two years now it works very good Definitely keeps your food warm. I feel like it's the same brand mm -hmm. on the freezer too. The freezer I don't know. I feel like the freezer in the same brand. I, I can't remember. Too much going on in his head. But I would definitely write it. I'll, I'll um, answer it for you in the comments. I have it um, written down because a lot of people were asking us about it. And it don't. It's Wait a minute. What is it? Uh oh my gosh. I just forget the name of Wait a minute. Um wait a minute. Not the I'm not thinking of the name. It it don't let heat out. No, it's no. insulated. Yeah. Yes. But... Outside don't get hot. Yes, they were asking us, did we want insulated or not? So I, I say, I want to keep the heat in. The trailer is already going to be warm with all this cooking we're doing. No, I want all that heat to stay inside. So the that matters too because the one that we have, you can get it insulated or non-insulated. It's non-insulated, of course, is cheaper, but we got the one that's insulated and it keeps all the heat inside. When you open it up, the heat comes out, but then, you know, in a few you know, it goes back. Um, Jesse, our um, email address, you can send it to us um, on our email address. I'll, po I'll post it for you. That is not it. And um, okay. I just post um, our email address and you can send it there. Thank you. We'll like to see that picture. Yeah. Peyton Bell said, how much did it cost to start up? Blessed and favored. Hi, blessed and favored. How are you doing? Hello, Welcome. Bell. Hello, Peyton. How much did it cost to start up? You, I'm, I'm, that's a, Broad question. Yeah. That's a broad question. A because <laughs> have to he said she'll say a lot. Yeah. You have you have the trailer, you have your location, you have insurance, you have so many things, so many variables to you know for a startup. So many. It's so many different things. And I start up 
you know, I, I see that a lot. People say, you can say what I can tell you, you know, a price, but it's, it's not going to be the same now because this is like almost three years ago. Yeah, and you know, the price has changed. Some could have went much. down, some could have gone up, yeah. you know, it's, it's a lot. It's according to what type of insurance you plan yeah. to get. Everything don't change. What kind of trailer you're getting. You know, because you're probably not doing barbecue. You're probably doing ice cream. Or you could be doing burgers. You could be, you know, tacos. That probably, and if you're doing new. Well, I'm just saying Or use. Anytime you're cooking out there like that, it's going to be cost. Cost. Mm-hmm. Because you get to buy, you know, your products and all that. For charcoal. Mm-hmm. If you know somebody... Give give away wood or something that's kind of help you out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Definitely, <laughs> definitely, it's good to have you know people you know in certain areas. Yeah, because I had a guy like that. He be want like two slabs of ribs, and he just furnished me with oak wood. So that's a good deal. I see if you want it, you want it like that. We can do it <laughs> like that. He said, "Yeah." Learn to accept your blessings. You know, that, that was something hard for us to do. Yes. When someone want to bless us with something, we feel like it's, oh, we got to do this. Sometimes God send people in your, in your way to bless you. And when they bless you, you can bless them and you can bless someone else. No, I, I, I accept the no. blessing, but you know, I thought I was. I'm telling others oh, to learn to accept their I blessing. I was satisfied. I want him to be satisfied with, oh, the, definitely. Deal, with the deal he made. He said, yeah, just two slabs of real. Because he has so many trees and all and that he stuff. Said he so. just had to call up and he just, I said, if you want it, we'll work it out. <laughs> and I mean, he keep checking on me too. You need some more? You need some more? You need some more? And all the time he don't come get no um, real. Sometimes he just come by and check do that. See, he said, I need some more wood. Mm. I said, no, not right now. I still got some right now. Yeah. And yeah. I thank the Lord for him, you know. Mm-hmm. But I was willing to pay him, but he said, you know, we'll work it out like that. That is good. So, if you all have any more questions, we'll answer them. If not... We have been on for about an hour and we're going to say good night. Oh, I put it on um under our other channel. It was on Faith Walk. If you see it in the comments, it the time I posted it was at 4 30. It's CB Smokehouse BBQ at gmail.com. Royce Doc, hello, how are you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hello, how early do you get up to put on your ribs and how many? Thanks. <laughs> well, how so, early? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I get up at four. Sometimes I, well, some, at the top of my, my ribs, it can hold like 10 slabs one time. Mm -hmm. So. And then they don't take that long to cook them. But you ain't have to get up really too early to cook real because if you fire, you set it up to 275, that'll bring them home. You got to let them know if you're smoking them or you doing direct, direct heat or how you doing Direct heat. You know, as I'm smoking them, it'll take a little bit long. But as I'm direct heating, it don't take long. Mm-hmm. Um Peyton Bell, could you email me your pricing sheet? Um explain that. And then he asks, How much barbecue do you know to make every day? Which barbecue? Are you talking about the pulled pork or are you pulled talking pork. about ribs?
How much barbecue do you, you got it, sir? How much? I kind of go by, you know, like as I was cooking the day, and that sell real, sell a whole lot today. I just cook a little bit, little bit, about the same I cook today, but a little bit extra. So you are up that night yeah, I, getting more ready. That's in the process. Yeah, I cook them a whole lot that night. Mm -hmm. What's that? Teflon Don. Hello, how are you doing? Welcome. What size smoker you using? Our smoker is like, it's what, like a box size smoker? I got a, yeah, a box, box, box size smoker. Mm-hmm. That's down in the size. Yeah, coming through the grill, grill big. Mm-hmm. I don't have the exact measurements right now. Jesse Griffin, can you say one more time? C B Smokehouse BBQ at Gmail dot com.